We basically blame the person who's overweight for being fat. It's your fault you're fat. Just eat less and exercise more. And otherwise, if you don't, it's just because you're lazy and a glutton. And that and that fat shaming and that 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 underlying approach is based on this idea of the calorie myth and that weight loss is just a matter of willpower. So why is willpower not the issue here? Well, again, it's it's based on this energy balance idea. If the the, the obese child, maybe he's 40 pounds overweight at age 12, that, that means his, his fat, they, they, he's been storing, you know, 50 extra calories of fat a, a, a year in his, his um, fat cells. So why can't they fix that? Why can't they just eat a little less, store a little less, or exercise a little more, store a little less? And it's the answer that lean people come to is, well, they must not care enough. If it's about energy balance, and I make this point in the case for keto, if it's about energy balance, that absolutely, that that creates the concept of um, fat shaming, in effect, because the assumption is always, if it's about intake and expenditure, then you should be able to take in a little bit less or expend a little bit more. It doesn't take a world of effort. We're talking about tiny numbers every day. So why can't people do it? And then you end up assuming it's because they don't want to. Yeah. Or they don't have willpower you come up with. And it's interesting. By the 1960s, uh, uh, you know, obesity research in the U.S. was dominated by psychologists and psychiatrists who were trying to figure out how to get those fat people to eat less. Mm. I mean, they didn't care. The idea that they just have a fat storage disorder they, we have a fat storage disorder. Just like if you saw somebody walking down the street who was eight feet tall, you wouldn't think about how much they eat and exercise. You would That's think right. he's got some kind of growth hormone dysfunction. Right. <laughs> Even if you weighed 400 pounds, which often right. if somebody is eight feet tall, they're likely to weigh 300 or 400 pounds. You don't care about how much they're eating and exercising. You care about the growth hormone issue and growth hormone yeah. receptor. But here they just didn't think like that. And once they didn't, and this is the danger in any sort of medical uh, scientific process. Once you assume something to be true based on an assumption, then it, it's going to infiltrate everything you do and it's going to affect everything you do.